So most nutrition programs are about the food, right? Well, um, I think that the food is probably the least important of the whole thing. The, the program needs to be about you. And so the surprising things that happen when you start eating mindfully or whether you call it intuitive eating or mindful eating, I call it practicing the five magic moves, is that you get benefits way beyond food. And I must tell you, I was actually amazed by this myself because I wasn't really expecting this. One is that when you focus on the consequences of taking action as opposed to not taking action every day, when you actually link how taking action or practicing intuitive eating or practicing the five magic moves is going to actually help you reach your daily goals and your monthly goals and your yearly goals and ultimately your life goals, when you focus on that every day, you don't only focus on the eating, you focus on the goals, right? And so you reinforce that that pull from the future that the goals help to exert. And you also, you reinforce the fact that that is the goal that you want. And sometimes it makes it clear that those goals yeah, are not really what you're after. And that is also really helpful. So that's besides helping you regulate what you eat, when you eat it, and whether you eat in what you really want to, and you know, being mindful of how you're doing it and conscious and discovering your own relationship to food, what you discover is your relationship to your goals. You discover, you become aware of those that relationship every single day and that reinforces it. And when that happens, you take more actions towards your goals, not just your nutrition or your health goals, but your goals in general. When you eat only when you're physically hungry, when you start being able to decipher what physical hunger feels like and you start honoring that signal, so you don't ignore it when you're hungry by not eating and you don't um, bypass it by eating when you're, when you're not actually physically hungry, what happens is you become more sensitive to other signals in your body. So you start becoming more sensitive to your signal for thirst. You start becoming more sensitive to your signal for rest. You start becoming more sensitive to your signal for comfort. You start becoming more sensitive to your signal for connection with other people. And when you can honor those, those needs, when you can honor those signals, then you start nurturing yourself much more effectively. And it, it, it has a knock-on effect in all areas of life because when you start nurturing yourself more, then you actually have a greater capacity to start nurturing those that you love more as well and so that actually deepens intimacy and connection in your relationships it deepens connection in your business relationships it deepens your connection with your to your relationship with your energy and your resources so it's your money your available physical energy and the resources that you have access to when you eat only what you truly desire, when you start connecting deeply to your intuitive desire to eat, like what do I really want to eat? What is going to nourish me most effectively right now? Then you start connecting to your intuition. You start trusting your own inner voice. When you eat what your intuition has told you to eat and you do a little, um, a little, uh, what's the word, feedback, 45 minutes, half an hour, 45 minutes later, and you discover that you feel mentally satisfied, there's no negative self-talk happening emotionally, you seem to be relatively stable, and physically you feel great then it reinforces that what you just that decision that you just made for yourself was truly nourishing and the more you can connect to that and the more confident you become about that the more confident you become about other signals that your intuition is giving you so this is not an easy thing to do you know you're not just gonna eat 27 donuts well first of all I don't know I hope you don't have the capacity for 27 donuts but do you know understand what I'm trying to say you it's difficult to do because there is still a lot of self-regulation happening here but it's self-regulation you're not being regulated by a system outside of you. When you eat slowly and with awareness, you create space for yourself. You create space to connect to what does that food really taste like? What does it feel like? You can feel what it's making you feel like as you're eating it. And when you do that, you become more aware you become sort of, it's almost as if you get to slow down other parts of your life and then you become more aware of how that nourishing you. What does this taste like? What does this goal taste like? What does it feel like? Not that great. I think I've had enough. Maybe I want more. Oh my God, it's amazing. So you actually start creating that space and that sensitivity to become more discriminating about what is truly nourishing for you and what isn't. When you stop when you've had enough, when you stop when you're full and you don't overeat, you basically learn where your boundaries lie, right? And, and you learn that enough is enough. You learn to be satisfied with what you've had. You don't need more. You decrease that desire for more. You become more satisfied with what you've got in your life. You become more grateful for what is already there. And you know, the more you can be grateful for what is there, the more the universe is going to send you to be grateful for. You also learn to say no when no is what you mean. So when you stop when you've had enough, that is putting up a boundary. That's saying, I'm done now. 
I'm done with this. I'm done with this meal. Until I'm hungry again, I'm not going to eat. I'm going to be in touch with what else I need. But if it's not physical hunger, then it's not food. And so when you can stop when you've had enough, it helps you to put up boundaries in other areas of your life. When you stop when you've overworked, when you stop when you're taking on more than you can do, when you stop putting up with what you perceive as possibly being some sort of emotional abuse in your relationship or someone's taking advantage of you, when you learn to stop when you've had enough of food, you learn to stop when you've had enough of many things and that is also an act of nourishment so even though we're going to be talking about food we're going to be talking about nutrition we're going to be talking about intuitive healing we're going to be talking about digestion just know that that is just scratching the surface of what happens when you truly become an intuitive eater and start applying the five magic moves i hope that you have um you've reserved your seat i hope that you've put the time in your calendar i hope that i'm going to see you um live on the chat when we have the webinar and I'm really, really looking forward to interacting with you.